Welcome to our intro to listing products each year in the Amazon store. Some list items they've purchased in bulk in order to resell. Others list branded or generic products that they own. Whether your inventory is large or small, unique or part of an established line, you can find a listing option in Seller Central. There are two basic parts to every listing, a product detail page and the offers paired with it. A product detail page is what customers see when they select an individual item in the Amazon store. The page includes a product name or title, images, about this item bullets, and a product description. Every product for sale in the Amazon store has its own product detail page. Whether it's sold by one or multiple sellers, a product's information is housed in one place. We combine listings in this way to make it easier for customers to find, compare, and purchase products. Each product detail page is also paired with every seller's offer for that item. We often feature an offer based on price, availability, and the customer's shipping address, but all others are also available for review. The primary tool we use to pair a seller's offer with the correct product detail page is a product ID, also called a Global Trade Identification Number or GTIN. GTINs are used around the world to uniquely identify and track goods that are bought, sold, stored, and shipped. Whether you're matching your offer to an existing listing or adding a new product to the Amazon catalog, you'll probably need this number. It can often be found on packaging above or below the product's barcode. The most common GTIN used by Amazon sellers is a UPC, but you might also find an ISBN, EAN, or JAN on your product. In some cases, you might need to purchase a GTIN for a product from an international organization called Global Standards 1 or GS1 for short. And in rare cases, you might apply for a GTIN exemption from Amazon. Once you have a product ID, you're ready to start listing in the Amazon store. There are two basic types of product listings, existing and new. When you match an existing product listing, you aren't providing product information, but are simply pairing your offer with an existing product detail page. You'll provide pricing and quantity information and can enter information about sales, handling times, and shipping. When you create a new product listing, you provide full product information, which we use to create a new product detail page. You also provide information for your specific offer. Your ability to create a new product detail page depends on your relationship with the product being listed. In some cases, your relationship with a product may also impact your ability to match an offer. If a product is part of a brand enrolled in Amazon brand registry, only three types of sellers can create its product detail page. The original rights owner who enrolled the brand, other sellers verified as internal to the brand, and resellers authorized by the brand. After the product is listed, other sellers can then match offers to the product detail page. They may be prompted to complete a brand selling application first in order to request approval for the registered brand. If a product is part of a brand not enrolled in brand registry, the product owner can create a product detail page for it after they secure approval for their unregistered brand name. They request approval by responding to error code 5665, which they receive when they first try to list using their unregistered brand name. They follow links in the error message to request an exception to Amazon's usual brand name policy. If an exception is granted, they can then create their product detail page. And they can create additional detail pages for other products that are part of their brand. Other sellers are able to match offers to these pages. Finally, if a product is generic, meaning it doesn't have a permanent brand name or logo affixed, its product detail page can be created by the product owner using generic as a brand name value during the listing process. After the page is created, other sellers can match offers. Note that in some cases, sellers are required to complete a selling application for a product or category before they can create or match offers to a product detail page. If that's necessary, you'll be prompted to complete that application during the listing process. Both new and existing products can also come in variations. Products have variations if they're available in different sizes, colors, or patterns, or have various styles, amounts, or flavors. 
For example, a shirt might come in two colors, blue and yellow. It might also come in two sizes, small and large. That would be four variations total, one for each color and size pairing. At Amazon, instead of giving each variation its own product detail page, which would make it difficult for customers to compare versions of an item, we put all variations on a single page and group them using one main product. We call this main product the parent and variations the child products. You can both match and create product listings with variations as a normal part of the listing process. Whether you're matching or creating product listings, there are two basic processes for adding items to your inventory in Seller Central, one at a time or in bulk. All sellers can list items one at a time. That means you'll use a single product ID to match or create an individual listing. Professional sellers can also add items to their inventory in bulk using an inventory file. By entering product and offer information in a spreadsheet, you can upload multiple listings at once. You can also make quick edits to your file when listings need to change and re-upload to Seller Central with a few quick clicks. You'll use Seller Central each time you want to match, create, or edit a listing. To list products one at a time, open the Seller Central main menu, hover over Inventory, and click Add a Product. Enter your GTIN and search for your exact item. If you find it, match the existing listing and enter your offer information. If you don't find it, click the Create a New Listing button to enter full product information along with your individual offer. To list products in bulk, open the Seller Central main menu, hover over Inventory, and click Add Products via Upload. First, you'll use the Download an Inventory File page to select the types of products you want to sell and generate a file template. Then you'll add your product information to your inventory file. Finally, you'll upload your file to Seller Central using the Upload Your Inventory File page. On this page, you can also monitor your upload status. You can both match and create product listings in bulk using a single file. After adding product listings to your inventory, you can also use the same process to make edits. Thank you and happy selling in the Amazon store!